What's going on guys? Killer6 and it's finally time. I'm able to start releasing some Borderlands 3 content for you, but I don't want to spoil anything for you. So first and foremost, this video will be spoiler free. There will be like essentially like the first couple of missions or something like that from Borderlands 3. So if you don't even want to see that, by all means, click off this video. I fully understand. Um, however, that said, I'm going to blur out the story mission name. And this is mostly going to be about the new gameplay mechanics, the things that I like about the game, things of that nature. Nothing spoilery near as I can tell. And again, this would be like the equivalent of like in Borderlands 2 going through Knuckle Dragger and then hitting Southern Shelf. There's nothing here that's going to ruin the, the experience for you guys, I, I don't believe. Uh, another thing that I want to say first and foremost is thank you to 2K and Gearbox for providing me early access to give you guys this footage and to give you guys my thoughts on Borderlands 3. I think the game is absolutely amazing. There, like This has far exceeded any expectations that I had for Borderlands 3. Obviously, I wanted Borderlands 3 to be like the best game ever. I had no idea that they were going to deliver on that promise and then some. So without further ado, I'm going to shut up. We'll dive into the gameplay and I will uh, see you guys in the next video. Take care. Oh my god, it's time. New game. All right, so you can see here you've got your difficulties. Um, easier mode, you may find you're harder to kill. If you're new to shooters, want to experience the story with less of a challenge, or simply want to feel like more of a badass, boom, you can do that. Uh, normal mode's what you're used to with uh, previous Borderlands games, so pulls no punches is the difficulty the game was made for. You'll need to consider your gear and skills to survive. If you're experienced with shooters, want a hard one story expense experience, or just want to give you uh, give the bad guys a sporting chance you want normal mode yes indeed all right um so then you can also choose your group mode uh so cooperation every bit of loot you find is dropped for you and unique to you instanced or this is the classic mode you can choose classic where if it drops on the ground you gotta fight for it or you know whoever gets to it first <laughs> that's how you do that I love that you can see your own feet finally. I want to slide into somebody and hit him. <laughs> Knocked him off his feet. I love it. <laughs> That's great, dude. Got eight HP, man. Me surviving. <laughs> Until I did that. That was genius. My first ever killing of myself. One life over. <laughs> I knew better than to kick that barrel, but I did it anyhow. Because I'm crazy. Jacobs will ricochet if you hit crits, by the way. Let's do this boss fight. Yeah, he is. Brought a knife and a screwdriver to a gunfight. <laughs> oh, alright. I failed. He did seem like a nice guy. All right, so cool. At level two, you actually unlock your action skill, which is pretty dope. Bro. Damn, that's opening it holds still there. Whoa, Lilith, what? <laughs> a little skeet shooting. <laughs> Good teamwork, Lilith. <laughs> Good teamwork. Thanks. You weren't so bad yourself there, girl. I love the auto ammo pickup, man. So good. <laughs> did a little flip. Oh, did that hurt? <laughs> did it hurt, bro? <laughs> I bet that hurt. I know that one hurt. Nice slide. <laughs> Dude, if you want to feel like a badass, this is the game. <laughs> this is the game. Oh, 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 oh my god, dude. That's all that's left. Alright, let's take a look at our Marcus head that we got. Beautiful. Perfect. <laughs> there he is! Loot tank! Got one! Where you going, bro? If he uh if he digs and uh hides, then you miss out on the loot. So we gotta kill him. 
Can't let him can't let him dig. No, don't dig. Don't dig. Got him. Alright, sweet. We got a badass here though. Alright, let's open this. Darn, no legendary. But we did get a purple. Get out, bro. I need your vehicular. Okay. Holy crap! <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> but it was great. That's what I love about Borderlands. Even things that aren't supposed to happen are amazing. That was so perfect. I love this game <laughs> so much, dude. <laughs> Little things got wrecked. Alright, we got the killing word. Fast travel. So it allows us to skip all the way back to the beginning of the map without having to run all the way back over there. Such a nice feature, dude. All right, and then we can use this to teleport. How do we do this? Uh, orbit view. And then we go to the droughts. Nice. Look at that. So good. And then we can teleport fast travel right there. Dude, quality of life times one bajillion, dude. <laughs> Quality of lifetime is one bajillion with those simple features right there. I love it. Oh, looting! Not this time, loot tink. Not this time, loot tink. Oh, reload. There we go. Got him. Nice. All right, loot tink. What do you got for me, man? Oh, we got the room decoration or something there too. Ooh, new shield. Got a uh, COV bat room decoration. Nice. So much sound variety in all the weapons. <laughs> Thought he was hidden. Oh, now this is locked. What the hell? Oh, wait, no, he just now respawned. <gasps> oh, cool. All right, we got him. Oh, <laughs> I knew that it's gonna happen. Level eight, yes. All right, we farmed him twice. Both times we've got his uh, unique, but we haven't gotten a legendary from him yet. Ooh. Interesting. I spawned here. Cool, we spawned. Oh my goodness, this is a, such an easy farm now. All right, so let's recap. We can now spawn right at a boss. Oh, we got a legendary. Yes, what do we got? Mind killer. Oh crap, my first legendary of Borderlands 3. You guys got to experience it. <laughs> awesome, man. What is this thing? It looked like it was a shotgun. I believe it was a shotgun. Yep. Uh, I must not fear. Fear is the mind killer. All right. Hey, that's a that's a quote from Dune. I remember that. <laughs> this thing looks pretty cool. It looks like uh like the front of it has like a 80s like retro kind of thing going on and like a Black Widow symbol on the side here. This thing looks pretty nice, man. Looks pretty nice. So, uh, I wonder what it does. Though. It's a Malawan, so I know you have to, like, charge it up to shoot it. So I wonder if, like, the longer you uh, charge, the more damage it does. I don't know. It's kind of interesting. Um, I'm not great with Malawans yet, but we'll, you know, we'll dive into it and figure it out. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Mind Killer versus the guy that dropped the Mind Killer. <laughs> All right. You know, it, it, it's pretty good damage. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty... Pretty good damage, it just blew a Tink's head off. No big deal. <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, I guess it helps if I don't shoot the shield. <laughs> so I'm just trying like little short bursts. Um, maybe we can try like a longer hold. I don't think it does any more damage the longer you hold it. I don't know, I'll have to do some like testing on it though to, to really see. Oh man, that is, guys, like that's really satisfying. <laughs> Making something just like turning things into pink mist. Oh, it's pretty, pretty nice. <laughs> pretty nice. Just like going full gore, man. So this like, you know, this takes the gore up like 10 notches from Borderlands 2 as well. <laughs> like that was one of uh, the things that everybody always said is that they wanted more gore like uh, in Borderlands 1. I always thought that the gore in Borderlands 2 was fine. But now that I see this, I'm like, oh, yeah, you know what? This is much better. <laughs> Good call. You guys were right. 
Yeah, so holding that down longer, I don't think that does any more damage. I'll have to, like I said, I'll have to do some more extensive testing on this thing, because I I can't really tell without, you know, actually having a stationary target, and you know what I'm saying. You, you, you need, like, a firing range dummy or something. Oh, that's cool, man. You can, like, set the, make the puddle go all electric. <laughs> that's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. Like said, like making the entire puddle be shocking. <laughs> yeah, get you some of this mind killer. And this thing's gonna carry me for a few levels, I think. <laughs> this thing's actually pretty good. It's not bad for an early game weapon. Pretty good. So I hope you guys enjoyed my initial playing of Borderlands 3. I didn't want to like show you guys too much in this video. So, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed it though. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, hit subscribe for more. And like I said, there's going to be a lot of Borderlands 3 videos in the coming days, weeks, months, and years. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.